Hello everyone in this video, let us uh, learn about uh, transition screens, conditions in workflows and uh, script runners conditions. So today I was looking at this question from uh, Vikrant on uh, the community and this question is uh, uh, about how to show pop-up transition screen only when date field value is greater than current date. Now this question is really interesting because uh, if you let us look at your uh, uh, your Jira issue, let me just create one uh, issue for you. So let us say you're working on a story and uh, if you want to of course do a transition from one state to another state you can do that with the help of these buttons on top and uh, usually when you are doing these transitions for some of these uh, uh, transitions there could be a transition screen that will uh, that will pop up like uh, if you may be uh, looking at maybe a bug for example let me just show, show you if you're not familiar with transition screens so if you create a bug and uh, if your bug is using the workflow with a transition containing uh, uh, with a transition containing a transi transition screen setup, then you will see something like this, uh, something like this, where you let us say if you're trying to resolve an issue, you will receive this pop up where you can fill up maybe some fields and then you can uh, resolve the issue. Now, the question is all about uh, how to have uh, this transition screen show up only when a specific uh, uh, date field is uh, greater than today's date. So I was thinking about, uh, I mean, of course, there are a few ways of doing this, but the most simplest way of achieving this uh, using script runner is to definitely add a condition. And uh, the, uh, I mean, the person who asked this question, he has the script runner installed. So that is always good because when you have script runner installed, you can do a lot of fancy things. So what we can do here is uh, the, the solution could be that you can have two transitions from the same source and target state, but show one of those transitions when the date field is uh, greater than uh, today's date. And for the other transition, uh, add a condition like when the date is, when the, when the field the custom field date 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 value is less than today's date so basically have two transitions and uh, the the transition names can be slightly different so that uh, you know that this uh, you can't really have two transitions uh, with the same name in jira workflow but you can always have uh, two similar names like start progress and the other one could be something else so let me show you how i have done it and uh, this is of course the most simplest way that you can achieve this requirement within a few minutes. So I'll show you how it is configured. So let, let me first uh, give you a demo of how this will work. So I have a workflow here. And if I look at the workflow, I have uh, this workflow where I'm trying to move the ticket from, or not ticket, but a bug from open to in progress. And if you notice here, we have two transitions. One is start progress with a bracket. I've used this bracket, you know, this, this mentioned this text here called reviewed. And the other one is uh, just start progress. Now, I also have a field, a custom field called uh, review uh, date. Now, if I fill in this date, let us say in future, I will update this. And now you can see here that I can see this start progress reviewed uh, transition. I cannot see the other transition because there is a condition on both these transitions where only, I mean, uh, the condition in this particular transition open to in progress is uh, where review date is in uh, future. And uh, for the other transition, the review date is in the past. So this is a very simple uh, example and uh, uh, the requirement is definitely to capture something based on a field, but you are trying to do it on a similar transition. So the most simplest way of doing it is again, uh, using two different transitions and let me just you know change the date to maybe something in the past maybe if it is 11th of march and if i click on the button now i see the start progress again so at any given point uh, based on the review date uh, you will see just one transition 
Now to configure this, if you go to the workflow and uh, I'll directly open my dev workflow, which is currently assigned to my bug. You can see here that I have two transitions. So if I open, let us say my start review, start progress review transition, I can go to the conditions and then I can um, see here that there is a condition. Uh, it's a simple scripted condition. If I click on the edit, I can show you how it is configured. So I'm using a very simple condition where if the custom field value review date, which is of course a date field is greater than today's date, um, simple. And uh, if this is true, the transition will show, otherwise it won't show at all. If you go back to the other transition, if I probably go back to my uh, same diagram view maybe, so it is easier for you to identify. If I, if I take a look at this transition, I can take a look at the condition. I do have a condition here called simple scripted condition, the same condition, but the only difference is that instead of greater than, it is less than. So this is uh, what you can do in case you're trying to do something similar with the transitions. And uh, if you have script or not, then your life is uh, much, much, much more easier. So this is all I want to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.